Okay, and as you guys already probably know, it has been a wild couple of weeks for the Utah Utes football team. Recruits have been flying in left and right, and the number one big-time recruit that has gone under the radar during that time is Mikey Matthews. Mikey Matthews, five foot ten, 185 pounds, an 88 rating from 24-7 is a straight stud, guys. Before I tell you more about him, let me show you his offers. Utah, Boise, Colorado, Washington State, Arizona, Arizona State, uh, Fresno State, Indiana, Michigan, Nevada, San Diego State, Tennessee, Tech. Uh, no offer from Texas, but interest from Texas. But still, guys, that stack of teams that is interested in Mikey Matthews is quite a stack, right? That's not just some random, this isn't some random guy, dude. This is a sought after recruit that Utah should be excited to be getting. Uh, so back to looking at the guy, the the kid is a special athlete. And at that 5'10", 185, when I watch him play, he reminds me a lot of, you know, maybe a Steve Smith kind of guy, a guy that brings a lot to the table, a lot of athleticism, a lot of playmaking ability, but more than anything, just just a toughness to him. He's thick, dude. He's thick like a running back and tough to bring down, but he has all the playmaking ability of a receiver that you guys would want. I think you guys are going to like him a lot. And on that note, uh, just to tell you guys, you know, he's the number 67 receiver in the country, nationally 481, but I, I don't think that rating really does this kid justice. He is a very good player. Um, you know, really talented. Let's go ahead and, and stop stop uh, talking about him. Let's go ahead and actually watch the tape and see what this kid's capable of. All right, and so these are the midseason highlights from Mikey Matthews. So this isn't even a full senior year for him, but these are the midseason highlights, and it should give us, you know, a pretty good idea of what kind of player he is. This first play, it's going to be a drag route coming across the middle, and he's going to use his physicality and toughness to break a tackle and get into the end zone. Let's take a look. All right, here he goes across the middle with the drag route, takes it to the outside, takes it up one-on-one, -on -one, boom, lowers that shoulder, dude. Let's watch that back one more time. Watch it back one more time. All right, drag, gets it, goes up, guy tries to make the tackle, just, dude, like I told you, thickness of a running back, guys. All right, and here he is. He comes back for a little screen play, catches the screen play, takes it upfield. Look at those wheels, dude. Look at the speed on this kid. Look at that speed, man. That that's nice. Let's check that out one more time, guys. And this is not a simple screenplay, by the way. This is actually kind of a complicated screen if you look at how it develops. So that means he's running a somewhat complicated offense. Look how he has to come back and then back around kind of like a loop for the screen. Then he just turns on the wheels, athleticism, and these guys wrap him up and he drags him for another five yards or whatever before he actually goes down. He catches the little punt return here. Just straight blazing speed, dude. This guy is quick and fast, man. He he makes plays. That's for damn sure. Let's watch that back one more time. All right. Catches the punt. Taking it upfield. Cuts back. Dude, this he looks good, bro. He looks really good. His fluidity and his movement, all that has me very impressed. I'm excited. All right, check him out here. Trying to block a kick. And, oh, dude, look at that jump. What a play. Dude, got back there and broke up the kick. That is awesome. And running it back. Whoop, whoop. All right. And wheel route, wheel route, boom, fade, wheel, whatever you want to call it. Oh, dude. Ooh, nice. So, honestly, you would like a little bit here for him to actually come up and get to the ball before the DB does. But you love the, uh, the concentration to actually still – Pull the ball in there. And another punt return from him. You could tell he, you know, as I'm watching the tape, I wouldn't be shocked if he's competing for that starting punt returner job uh, as early as next year. That could be one of the big reasons they're bringing him in. And that could be one reason he wants to play at Utah. Oh, sorry. Let's watch this one back one more time.
Excuse me on this one. All right, let's watch this back one more time. All right, just wide open in the middle of the field and boop, catches it, breaks one, physicality, drags the other guy for another couple of yards before he goes down. All right, out on the wheel route and nice, dude, just wide open, good scheme, but he's got the wheels and the athleticism to get open. All right, they're closing in on him. Can they get him? Nope, they can't because he's freaking Mikey Matthews. I think he broke two, three tackles on that play. That was nice. Let's get that. Let's get that back. Let's get that back. That was a nice play. All right. Let's watch this one back. All right. Goes out. A little screen play. The guy comes on him. Jukes him out of his damn shoes. Stiff arms another guy. And then he goes down. Nice. Nice moves. Nice moves. All right. Up the seam there in the slot. Dude, you know who else he's reminding me of? I know I said Steve Smith, but also Britton Covey. He's playing in the slot a lot. I know he's a small receiver. Britton Covey's an easy comparison. But just a guy that could bring us that slot production that we've kind of missed this year. Not that we haven't done really well this year, but uh, it'd be nice to have that monster in the slot again. All right, he's going up. And boom, makes the catch. Dude, nice. He's he pulls defenses away from everybody else too with his speed and ability to just break it for a huge damn. Okay. Bro, you can't not be excited about this kid. Check this out. This should be a two yard play or a negative play, even. He gets through this whole, he breaks three tackles right there and then takes it for 15 yards. That is awesome, dude. It's kind of like a running back receiver hybrid, huh? Nice catch, nice catch. All right, in the slot, catches it. Should be a tackle for loss, but it's Mikey freaking Matthews. And he takes it for, what, 20, 25 yards? Really nice play by Mikey. All right, he's out there as the, the X receiver. Oh, dude, look at those wheels. Imagine, oh, man, imagine. What, check this out. I want you guys to watch that one back. So imagine this is one of our quarterbacks that has – you know, a D1 QB arm, especially like a Nate Johnson, dude. He's got a cannon. Look at the separation that Mikey gets here. Oh, not on this play. It's the next play after this. All right. Check this out. It's Look at the separation Mikey gets on this fade route. Boom. Fade. Look at the separation, dude. If this was a better ball, he could have just caught that in stride for a touchdown. He has real wheels on him, guys. He is a fast kid. Boom. Breaks one. Breaks another. I love him breaking all these tackles, dude. That's exciting. That's the type of thing that might, you know, translate to the next level. All right, curl route, catches it. Nice. All right, last play on the tape. And nice clean catch. Breaks one, breaks another, breaks a couple more. All right, <laughs> freaking Mikey Matthews, guys. All right, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you guys like the video. It helps get it out to more Utes fans. Also, comment below. What do you guys think of Mikey? For me, I think he's going to be a really good player. I'm actually super excited for Utah to get him in. And more than anything, guys, please do make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. It goes a long way, and it lets me know you guys appreciate the content and lets you always get you know updates when I post the content because anytime we're getting new new recruits, I post them up, guys. So I hope, I hope you guys continue to follow the channel. But outside of that, I am out of here. Go Utes.